And staying with voices from Davos, 2016 will turn out to be in line with 2015, says Paul Scher, chief global economist at S&P Rating Services. In an exclusive interview with CNBC TV18's Menika Doshi at Davos, he says that most of the global economy is likely to revolve around China. Well, I think 2016, Menica, probably will turn out you know, roughly in line with, with 2015 and, and a couple of years before. In other words, the global economy since the financial crisis or the recovery has been running at around 3%, a little yeah. bit more than 3%, sometimes 3.5%. I think there's a very good case that that is pretty much how this year is going to end up. So we're certainly not looking for a turning point here where the global economy goes into some kind of slump. But a lot of it will revolve around what happens in China. Is this period of low growth here to stay, Paul? Um, the kind of growth rates we saw before the financial crisis, are they unlikely to ever come back? I think that would be too sweeping and maybe pessimistic of you. And, and you know, the theme here, of course, is the fourth uh, industrial revolution. And there are some question marks about are the GDP statistics actually properly capturing uh, that revolution and, and the IT revolution and in particular, maybe maybe there's something being missed here. But I don't think that there are grounds for being particularly pessimistic about the medium-term outlook for the global economy. It's important to get through the aftermath of the Great Recession, and there are still some legacy issues to deal with. But you know, emerging markets in particular are emerging, and they ha that means they have pretty high potential growth rates. It really becomes all about making sure that policy is uh, executed in a way that captures that growth potential. But I do want to ask you about the U.S. There does seem to be a consensus view building here that we are likely to see maybe another recession in the U.S. Would you agree with that? We would be very surprised if the U.S. was about to go into recession. I, I don't. A manufacturing recession that well, the I mean, data seems to indicate. Mm, I, I don't think. No, you don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, well, the, the U.S. economy now, of course, is a service orientated economy so you can get weakness in manufacturing and certainly there will be continuing weakness in the energy sector with oil prices uh, at the low levels uh, that's partly uh, you know essentially becoming a victim of your own success mm. the shale revolution has forced yes. supply onto the market and has put downward pressure on uh, on, it, on the oil prices so definitely there'll be some areas of weakness uh, within the US economy but the US economy as a whole again since the recovery started in mid 2009 has been growing pretty consistently in the two to two and a half percent range uh, and I think there's a very good case to be made that that trend will continue that's a big global reassuring voice and global bulls